Yeah, wait, there's no good place really to look at the map, but it seems like there's only one place we can go. There is a red dot to the east. Everyone, everything else is blocked by either mountain ranges or sea, so we have a huge amount of options. We might go back to Calm later on to buy the second steel material. Alright. And you miss. You piece of shit. What are you doing? I clearly saw the mugger's head going into her crotch area. It's at least a little bit questionable. Might be better off spamming our Matra magic against these random encounters. Yeah, it will suck up our magic points very quickly, but in a situation like this, where we can basically just go to any real city and take a rest. There's no reason to be too careful about saving those points. We don't have to endure a huge amount of things before we can, with limited resources. I know someone else will heal. I'll go check the different areas in general on the map, so just in case we stumble upon something different, so opponents. Say enemy skill in mind. Okay, there's an elephant. Looks a bit creepy, but whatever. They're using some kind of water attack. They're making me sad. They just affect water and that. I push. A sad. It reduces the speed uh, which your uh, limit break will happen, but I think it uh, makes you less resistant to damage at the same time. So I'm not sure how bad of a thing that is. And I have no fucking idea. Kind of squirrels and an ostrich, I suppose, with bear claws. Pretty dangerous. Nothing to steal. And they have nothing to steal. Sadness. Um, how do you get rid of sadness? I don't think I can get rid of sadness. Ah, crap. So, we're not right next to where we need to go anyway. Want one beach fight, and then we'll go there. More elephants? No, it's an ostrich. 
Flaming Picker. Farm. Ah, uh, yeah, you can actually do some breeding with these. Chocobo Bill. Choco Bill. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yes. Then it will probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with this Chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zalon. Midgar Zalon? It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then BAM! It attacks. To avoid that, buy a chocobo at me and Chocobilly's chocobo farm. Purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the Chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Of course he is. Ah, he... Ooh, he can rest. Yeah. 100 heal. Ah, oh, fine. Yeah, I get rid of the status effects. Okay, how is this gonna work? Choco Billy. Do you want a chocobo? Mm, sure. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks? We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Want to know how to catch a chocobo? Okay, how do I catch one? I know where they are. They're, they're in the world map. There are areas where there are foco chocobo uh, footprints. How do I catch one? A wild chocobo always appears with other monsters, but you won't be able to catch it because of the monsters. That is why you must first defeat the monsters first before you catch the chocobo. And then. While chocobos are really cautious, they'll run away from the smallest things. But if you use greens, they'll focus on them and won't run away. Want to know how to can't? Okay, okay, what else? Whatever you do, don't make chocobos angry. They're usually calm, but if you get them angry, you'll get hurt. Oh, and remember, once you get off a chocobo, it'll escape. Anything? Uh, okay. Sure. Might as well ask this, although you know this. Oh, if you if you don't have chocobo lure, they won't come out. They're very cautious by nature. Uh, chocobo lure is a type of materia which attacks chocobos. You could please still come to you, but without it, they won't appear. Uh, Two thousand gil for the Chocobo lure. I don't have that much money. Hey, hey, you don't have enough. So, grinding money. We need the. Um, well, we don't need much, but we do need the thievery thing. Materia, steel materia. We didn't need to heal, but I want to use it so she'll get a better one. Everyone else seems to have a better limit back of the so. 
star pendant was stolen. Hell no. Okay, we could afford to check a lure now. Naturally, we won't because we need to steal materia. I don't. Sometimes some of these materials are only available in a few places, so I don't want to miss it out. I mean, there's no guarantee that we'll be able to get it another one anytime soon. To try the clay. Maybe not in a fight like this, but. I'm not really interested in the Quake abilities, but I'm interested in having a Materia where I can link it to an Earth ability, so we can get immunity to Earth or a weapon ability to Earth. You can easily just go and race, so I'm not worried about burning through our magic point. It will cost us about one battle's worth of uh, money, so not exactly a concern. Not even that. By the time we reach the uh, stable, we have the 2000 uh, we need to buy the material. That shouldn't be a problem. Or not. We need about three to four fights to do it. Still need those fights. Flaming Pet. We haven't tried stealing from these guys, or rather succeeded. Might as well do it once just to see what all our options are. Ah, 
Come on. We could use a different type of a uh, menu system. One that would remember what we did the last turn, so you could just keep using steel, steel, steel instead of going through the options constantly. Uh, I don't care for it though. It's usual in situations like these where you really do repetitive actions. But in normal situations I don't like it. Because it's easy to memorize certain things in your back in your really in your reactions. But if it's if there's no stable point where you start each combat round, it's it's much much you actually have to navigate through instead of just memor using the memorized pattern. There. Not bad, but not worth stealing either. Seal evil. Well, that's useful. Constraints and stops the magic of all opponents. So... Very nice. If one more fight to get the 2000 into Jill. Wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. Oh, and how fast the chocobo will finish eating depends on what type of greens you pick them. Ah, well, we can afford the shittiest greens pretty much possible. Yeah, at least, as long as we have one or two, I'm fine. Uh, I'm not gonna pick them greens anyway. What it really amounts to is. What you really need to do is kill the monsters with the chocobo as as fast as possible. And that usually means very very fast. Greens can delay the I mean delay the chocobo leaving, but it can't prevent it. With our shitty greens, we shall make it. Okay, yeah, we'll never get it like this. We can't do damage to it, otherwise we're screwed anyway. What I think we'll do is... Basically save limit attacks. No point wasting them. A limit strike or two should be make it easy to get rid of the additional guys. That said, I will naturally save. Because it can still fail, and we'd have to wait again. Which means more grinding through fights. On the other hand, the money would certainly be welcome at this point. 
the two core. And now that I actually think about it, having another heal would not be a bad thing. It requires 12,000 AP to get to the, even the next level, which, which is the level we need to make it at all useful. So, if we basically just stick with one, it's going to take forever to get, to get a second heal ability. So, uh, yeah, I'm going back and find another as soon as our heal. There's no point saving the limit skills though. There's no guarantee that we'll keep using the heal, really, at e ever, but at the same time, by the time we get to the level that we can cast those Asunas uh, magics, it's, it's gonna take a lot of time, so... Too late to regret not taking it at this point. Money, 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 money. Probably need a few thousand at least, and we have 800. Might as well go check how much money exactly do we need. Point collecting it any more than we have to. One thousand five hundred. Okay, that's not too bad. a uh, fight or two at most. And the extra fighting will naturally give us level up, so which is also fairly welcome.
one more fight. 35 guild short. I suppose we could settle something. If you're that desperate, you might as well just fight up one extra fight. You can keep fighting with even the with these more expensive attack spells at least at this point. Quite a long time. Running out of magic points. Ooh, the late beam. Running out of magic points has never been a problem. Seems like ooh. Definitely a new level. Yes. Diffuses after hitting one opponent. So it'll basically spread out to multiple opponents. Probably it's uh, quite a bit more damaging than the first level abilities anyway. Um, it means we can't use it against the Chocobo though. If we do any damage to it, it'll just run away. Store. Steel is something we definitely don't have to have constantly with us. Yeah, we, we just want the command when we need it. We don't particularly want to take it to mug, mugging. Because ma sometimes you just want to steal instead of kill. Now it doesn't particularly matter. At least too much. But think of a when our power increases and we start to do hundreds of points of damage, maybe thousands by per strike, it just it would make trying to steal from certain targets pretty much impossible or very very time consuming. So it's actually better to just have them steal instead of mug. When we enter new areas, fight new monsters, one or we suspect the boss fights are coming away, something like that. Still, my red ability would be useful, and that's pretty much it. All leveled up, excellent. Now we can use all elemental toys in a fight. Hmm. I don't think later on this is going to be quite such a big problem. You can at least always equip the main. What the fuck is that? Seriously, what are you? Some kind of a weed, I suppose. Mason nuts. What exactly is a lazy nut? When you want to breed chocobos, oh, yeah. mm. it's part of the formula you need to breed better chocobos. To rest anyway, I can't go on with the chocobos with the status effects we have on.
probably require at least parrots to meet break to get what we want. Again, a few extra battles and exactly troublesome. I could always use the money. Slow dance. And check out this guy. I suppose Ares could throw, throw the greens to it. Might delay it a little bit, but I still think we're gonna need the limit break. So the wheat isn't particularly dangerous, it's there to provide disabling attacks. Some some other things are gonna do the kill. It's going to require some luck to get it. Yeah, the Tickle just leaves way too fast. It, it wouldn't matter if we had a limit break here, the only one that I had to hunt do something. And it's very resistant to magic. Good to know. Still, I'd like to get to Chocobo fairly soon. We can't get out of this area until we have a chicken bow. How many fights do we have to go through before we get to Chicago? It's taking too long. the ride. Press cancel button to get off. Chocobos will escape. Oh. This is what we had to do. Did Sephirot do this? This Sephirot guy is pretty strong, I'd say. 
Our enemy is someone that can do this. it up and there's the snake it will attack you and uh, I think it's killable I'm pretty sure it is but um, with a group like this um, could take a lot of time it could be impossible to I think if you lose more or less you just get kicked out of the swamp or something like that it might even use some kind of special ability to enforce that What you do, it die. Scissors. Flamethrower. Ooh, that's an uh, enemy skill we can learn. You don't have a steel. Oh, thank you very much. Single target fire attack. Causes fire damage to a single opponent. It actually uses more magic than the Matram magic. Wonder how powerful it is. Is it justified that it uses so much magic? Mind source. Permanent boost to something. And don't do that much damage. Stole Grand Glove, that's a Tifa's weapon. Okay, this test the flamethrower. It's not really all that more powerful. So Matramatic is uh, about the same power level, cheaper and affects everyone. Just a second. Turks. More than one this time. 
Who are you? Do you know who I am? The Turks, right? Well, if you know, then this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. Sir! It's alright, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. Elena. Then explain, Elena. I am the newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short one we're short handed. But because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. Anyhow, our job is to find out where Sephirat is headed and to try and stop you every step of the way. Wait a minute, it's the other way around. You're the ones that are getting in our, our way. Elena, you talk too much. Mr. Chang! No need to tell them about our orders. Sorry, Chang. I thought I gave you... I gave your orders. Now go, don't forget to file your report. Oh, right. Very well, Rude and I will go after Sephirat, who's heading for Junan Harbor. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Go, don't let Sephirat get away. Reno said he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Well then. Eris, long time no see. Looks like you're safe from the Shinra for a while now that Sephirat have reappeared. What are you saying? That I should be grateful to Sephira? No. I won't be seeing much of you, so take care. Strange hearing that from you. Well then, stay out of Shinra's way. And they just walked away. Okay. I was expecting a fight, but apparently not. Elixir! High potion. Can we steal something from you? Steal evil, nothing to steal. Yeah, cold attacks probably won't work on these guys. They're not using magic, so I'm not sure if this will do anything. Well, they're actually unable to do anything. So heals and debuffs, that's what Ares does now. Definitely a good cha choice to bring in a group. Everyone else is damage, damage, damage. to from here though. There's something south of us. Ooh. We've been fighting the Shinra on this battlefield for a long time. We've still settled We've still settled in for a long war with them. Could you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, so if you're busy with something, why don't you finish that first? Okay. 
Okay, where's Junon? Let's see, head north along the coast, keep going a ways and you'll run into Junon. But be alert because it sits in the shadow of a small hill. He's basically telling not to do this yet, but... What I'm, I, I don't want to do this now. What I do want to do is uh, see if they have shops. This is, uh, I think, a series of battles in a mini mini game. I'm not sure you can finish them now. The later ones are quite demanding, and I think they require more or less for your main character group to do a map fighting. At least one fight, and they can be is basically a boss fight against what at this point would probably be fairly powerful enemy. Now oh, this is something. I never thought anyone would ever climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shinra. You'd better get down before you get involved. Shinra, held those jackasses during here. What do you mean a battlefield? It appears you have a problem with Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? Yeah, I don't. We might be able to do some fighting here now, but I don't think we can finish this. Because I'm pretty sure the reward for fully inflating this is. Yeah, it's related to a plot mission later on. And for finishing this, you'll also get a summon materia. Yes, there's no way we can finish this now. Okay, tell me your story, my old man. You know what's at the top of this mountain? Uh, something's up there. A huge bird! The reactor and the condor. That's right. On that mountain is a condor and a reactor. It seems that Shinra doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Damn, that's one big bird. But why are they trying to get it to get rid of it with weapons? Why? It seems there's some type of special materia in the re reactor above us. And because the condor came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villages off this mountain. Condor is now warming its eggs, which has this only once every few years. We would like to protect the condor from being harmed. Mm, new lives. I'll do it. I'll protect them from Shinra. We must protect the condor egg, right? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we have hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with a contribution or by fighting alongside of us. Do you think you want to join us in our fight? What's there to think about? We got to do it. Ah, uh, why are you still worrying about it? Ah, uh, fine. We'll come to the rescue. Yes, yes, let's do our best. Height, eat in, and something else. Are you a weapon shop then? Material, fire lighting, ice restore. Ah, for once we don't have to buy anything. What about the items? Hyper cure sadness. I'll get a few more hypers, I guess. We might want to maybe fight one of them, just to see what the hell we're getting into. Uh, or what this basically is. I, I don't want to do it now. Might also contribute at least a little bit of money to the fight here. But probably not.
It's a mini game and they'll get more demanding as uh, times go by, but you basically have to spend money to hire uh, hire enemy uh, hire soldiers and that'll eat up money which we don't really have. Thanks for accepting. So shall I let you in on our strategy? Enemy has targeted our mountain reactor and will be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap and hire soldiers to protect the place. Well, this is all we have. This village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to buy it, we can't because we're broke. We need 400 drill to hire one soldier. So if we hire 20 soldiers, we need 8,000 drill. We need to ask you to use your own money to hire these soldiers. Buy the equipment, set it up, and give them commands. If you don't have time, could you help with a donation? If you donate the money, we can hire the soldiers and block the Shinra's attack. We know what we're asking is selfish. We send our wives and children to another village, but we're resigned to stay. Okay, let's get back to basics. If the enemy reaches this shed, you'll have to fight them off immediately. It's not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. So, you're good enough of a fighter, I don't think... Uh, could you evade even just hiring anyone to fight yourself? Okay, is there anything? Conditions, victory, enemy, top soldiers, funding, other... Enough. Uh, let's yeah, let's just fight a single fight. The minimum is four thousand deal to fight, so we have don't even have three thousand, so we're just gonna walk away from this. It is basically a crappy mini game. If you command the different type of soldiers you have, and the soldiers function more or less with the rock, paper, scissor principle, so you have to use your correct type to counter a correct type. And that's it, pretty much. Not exactly super exciting. Um, no, there are two places we can go to. No, one. One is separated by water. Can we steal something? These are fairly damaging. Yeah, we're about to die, in fact. Not from as magic to the rescue. I wouldn't say these guys are super dangerous, but so many of them. Okay, opponents, random opponents, and five of them at the same time. Any new opponents in the beach? 
There's Juno. <sighs> so more or less, this time we did nothing but try to catch up to where the plot is happening. Heat wing. How much damage is this gonna do? 356. Pretty standard damage, but it'll spread out from there to other targets. Besides, you're going to have to move to a new limit break anyway, otherwise, you won't make any progress. There's a gigantic coastal battery. One more fight. I thought, ooh, we have no beach specific creatures. I'm interested in seeing what these guys could have. Fairly annoying as uh, surrounding enemies so far. Ether, not bad. Still not really worth taking. Hmm. Do you know it is? 